we had the Easy A or the Extreme Z battle for the AGL LR trunks and Goten drop. And then we also have the new slash old revamped tech mighty mask strike event that you can do let's go over all the details of what rewards we will be getting from these two events and going over a little bit of the of the details of each unit to see just where they fit in the meta here we have the agl lr trunks and goten and then we have their extreme z battle right here their weakness is legendary power which is all lrs in the game have an attack bonus and then gifted warriors category has a damage reduction keep that in mind when you're forming your teams to go against this unit and they are agl so they are weak against tech for each stage you do get three stones so there's 10 stages in total so you're going to get up to 30 stones for just completing those stages which is really good and then on top of that there's a mission reward for clearing stage seven once so that's three more stones on top of the 30 so that's 33 stones that's good keep in mind that the gifted warrior category overall not just type advantage does get a damage reduction obviously str units are going to have the most amount of trouble if you do bring any because agl is strong against str this super saiyan goten he does lead gifted warriors for 120 percent across the board and keepless three so if you have them that might be character you can run as your leader plus he's tech so he has type advantage but we also have some mix of characters that do lead tech type as well if you have a mono tech team that you can run if you summon for the new intelligence majin vegeta where is he why would he not be on gifted warriors am i missing something here extreme my bad i'm looking at super super yeah okay okay extreme right here so if you have this guy he has a 200 percent leader skill involving vegeta's family and majin buu saga for 170 percent across the board and then gifted warriors getting added 30 percent across the board for their, their stats if you have him he'll be a really good leader for this particular event keep that in mind as well so you get five agl grand kais as well and then all these skill orbs so it's always a good thing to be able to get this done. So make sure you get it done if you can. The details behind this uh, AGL, LR, Goten, and Trunks. So after they get Extreme Z Awakened, the biggest thing I want to point out to you guys is the 70% chance for Super Saiyan 1 Gotenks and 30% chance for Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. After their Extreme Z Awakening, it goes 50 split down the middle for the chance to become Super Saiyan 1 or Super Saiyan 3 for their Ultra Super Attack. So that's very, very good. Does their Super Attack effect change though? Does it change? I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Super Saiyan 1 Gotenks is pretty good anyway. So if you get Super Saiyan 1 Gotenks, you're at least raising defense by 30%. But then here, if you get Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, you're raising attack and defense by 50%. Very, very good. And then their kit. This is, this is like one of the most highlighted things that you should be looking at in their kit. If you do have this unit, I personally don't have this unit. Let me know down in the comments below who has this unit, who doesn't. If you have this unit, I'm jealous. Just so you know, I envy you because I don't have this unit. This unit has somehow escaped me for the past four years that I've been playing this game on and off. Frustrating because I really want them. But that's besides the point. But this key plus five to ten randomly at the start of the turn is huge. Honestly, like five to ten getting their 18 key is so easy you're hardly going to see their 12 key which is the worst part of their super attacks because i mean fat gotenks raises defense by 30 percent for one turn but then skinny gotenks lowers their own defense you don't want to get their 12 key but it's not is is really not going to be an issue most of the time because of this right here getting this random amount of key and then the rest of their kit is pretty all right after the eza they are definitely a very very solid solid lr to run on a bunch of teams it, look at how many categories this unit is on absolutely great so they're buffing a lot of these categories and then moving on to the mysterious mighty mask soul 
This is the first of the Super Strike story events being revamped on Global. This is the very first one. I did make a previous video about strike units coming from these events and i said that you should start grinding them now but i really think you should wait for the revamped events just because they add categories that increase your drop rate so in this case world tournament category units however many you use increases your drop rate by that much the best thing to do is to use a full world tournament category team so you can get the biggest increased drop rate for all the rewards that you get at the end of the stage to me this is very very good even though this unit isn't that great you still need to grind this unit grind all free to play units i will always stress that in my videos because you never know when these free to play units even though they some of them suck and are not very good and are not desirable you never know when they will be used to form up a new free to play lr that comes out later on in the future or when an easy a for a free to play lr requires you to use certain free to play units possibly even these new free to play strike units that have their new Dokkan awakenings and their new easy a's and just to give you history a little bit of history on events like that you do need to have every unit rainbowed and fully Dokkan awakened or extreme z awakened whichever one is required of those specific units keep that in mind when you're thinking about oh this guy isn't that great so i'm not gonna farm him up no you need to farm them up because you never know when you're gonna need them you never know on top of that is there's, there's no reason you shouldn't farm them up. i mean you get free stones six stones right here just for completing all the difficulties on each stage and then look at all these stones you get from these missions and you get different rewards different you get hidden potential orbs right here amazing always need hidden potential orbs more free stones some hercule statues to sell for zenny there's no way that you shouldn't be somewhat motivated to complete these events just for these rewards i know the unit sucks but once again you might need the unit on top of that you're getting rewards for completing these missions so these four missions right here i want to focus on in particular it says clear stage four within 10 turns pretty easy but then if you move down to this third one right here clear stage four with android number 18 on your team and then this fourth one clear stage four with an androids category team make an androids category team put android 18 on your team and then clear the stage you'll complete all four of these missions at once pretty easy pretty easy there are free to play android 18s and there are free to play androids category units that you can farm up get this done it's not hard not difficult it's very easy to do so easy mission rewards let's look at this unit real quick they're not that great they do become quite a bit better from their easy a and their dokkan awakening obviously but as far as where they fit in the meta literally only on world tournament <laughs> because you're not going to run them on machin Buu saga so the only team you're ever going to see them on probably is world tournament or that you're ever going to use them on definitely don't fit in the current meta i'm not going to go over all their details they just they're mediocre they're medi a mediocre unit but once again it's very wise for you to farm them up it doesn't matter if they are mediocre all right make sure you guys get this done thanks for watching i appreciate y'all we are on the snake way to 1000 subs so if you enjoyed the video if you found anything helpful please consider hitting that red subscribe button turning on the bell for notifications so that you can stay up to date with all my latest videos and content until next time bye y'all